Well, as you all can see, I am not in the comfort of my room. I am in the comfort of a hotel in Beaumont. So I am in Beaumont tonight. And this will be the only video this week. So this week in indoor football, Jerry Kurz is back in the AFL. Gary Compton, Director of Football Operations. Now, the sad thing is, is that two of these AFL games were good. The, the even worse thing is that Chris Siegfried got fired today from West Texas. He got fired like an hour or two ago. So the two games that were classics, Albany beating West Texas in overtime, 73-70, and Nashville getting the upset win over Billings, 57-54. But the other two games, disgusting. Disgusting results. Salina, 42. Washington only put up seven. And then Wichita only put up 12. That was like in the first and second quarters. And then Southwest Kansas ran away with it. So, yeah, AFL still kicking. In the NAL, the only game that mattered was the Carolina-Omaha game, and, and the Omaha beef flexed their muscles, got the big win against Carolina, which means the NAL championship will be the Omaha beef and the Sioux City Bandits in the I-29 rivalry, part three. Part three of the I-29 rivalry next Saturday, 6.30 Central Time in Omaha. Oh boy, gonna be a good one. Yes, Colorado beat Idaho. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a game that happened. It is what it is. Um Columbus in their final tune-up beat Peach State 62 to 12. Um, the Arena League, the Kansas City Goats put up 91 against the Iowa Woo. Now, the Wu looked like the worst team in the league by far. I think that's what a lot of people are saying. They look like the worst team in the league. And, yeah, I I, 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 I don't blame y'all. I don't blame y'all. I do not blame y'all at all for thinking that way. Watching that game was a little rough at times with the Wu. You know, they just did not have everything to go. That defense is not there. You know, there's less players on the field, too, so you think things would be popping off. But, no. Defenses were not popping off in this game. Now, let's go to the IFL real quick before we talk AL2. Um, Green Bay, they look like the class of the league. 36-33, clutch field goal late. Clutch, you know, clutch play from the Blizzard defense. You know, Massachusetts tries to keep things at a low scoring, low pace. But ultimately, Green Bay is nine and two, nine and two. Green Bay. I don't think I expected that. Um, Tulsa loses on the last play of the game to Jacksonville. I mean, Jacksonville. We all were like, "Well, you know, Jacksonville should start running the ball," and that's exactly what they did in in the clutch. They did it in the clutch. They started running the ball in the clutch. And that was a good game. Sam Castronova and the San Antonio Gunslingers still kind of in this thing. They're still in it, 5-5 five and five now. They get a one-point victory over Duke City. Quad City, their defense, you know, got stops when they needed to. Offense, you know, was moving very efficiently against the Frisco Fighters. You know, TJ, it was just it's enough. It's, it's not enough. you got to have a defense. Frisco needs a defense. That's my big takeaway from this game. Yeah, but I know who doesn't need a defense, those Bay Area Panthers. Boy, oh, boy. 12 points they gave up against Tucson. Just 12. Man, Billy Mack's crew ain't looking too hot right now. You know, Two and eight. The Panthers are nine and one, 51 to 12, looking like they are going right back to the IFA National Championship, which has been confirmed for a 1 p.m. start, by the way on August 17th, so August 17th, 4.35 o'clock-ish, that will be the season finale. So, you know, Arizona, big win late. You know, they got they got what they needed late against the San Diego Strike Force. Now the Rattlers are in position to be in position. 47-46, Sioux Falls got the victory over Vegas in overtime. Very weird play on the final play. OT for the storm. 
but it is what it is, you know. Um, and yeah, the IFL this week yet again, very very good football. Just except for maybe the Panthers Sugar Skulls game, very good football. Well, actually, yeah, that that Panthers Sugar Skulls game is bad. Every game, most of the games this week came down to the wire. Now for the AL two. That is not the case. All three games of blowouts. I know my boys um, for the Texas Hot Shots. They only put up eight against Waco, uh, and then Jersey and Wheeling destroyed both Maryland teams. So, yeah. So the AL two playoffs will have Wheeling hosting on what June the twenty second next week. Will be Steel City, Jersey, and then Peach State and Waco are presumably going to be the other um, semifinal game. So that's the other um, semifinal game, I believe. Um, again, because the AL2 went down to 18 because the Dallas Falcons pulled out as they should. You know, the Texas hotshots are also looking like they're going to pull out. Um, again, we, we all, I think we've already talked about that. So yeah, the AL2 playoffs are going to feature, it's going to be those five teams, I believe, that will be our playoffs, um, because obviously the hot shots, you know, aren't going to play in the playoffs and everything like that. So yeah, I think the big thing that we need to take away from this week is that the AFL is looking more solid than they did at the beginning, because remember, everything was looking terrible at the beginning. Yeah, things are still kind of shaky because some teams look better than others. You know, some games look way better than others. I mean, have you seen a have you seen Wichita Southwest Kansas or Washington Slider? Those two games were terrible, but at 73, 70, 57, 54 scores, those scores right there between those four teams, Albany, West Texas, Nashville, Billings. And I don't know, people in Orlando are upset because, well, we don't we don't have any more home games. We only have like three home games. I know, I know. Y'all are upset, but it is what it is. That's just the way the cookie crumbled. That's the way the turmoil, you know, is now people are saying, oh well, 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 we well Wichita backed out. <laughs> stop crying. I I need you guys to stop crying. You've drawn less fans this year. Y'all don't go to games this year. I need y'all to stop crying, Predators fans. I need you to stop crying. Same thing with the Carolina Cobras fans. Oh well, 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 we 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 lost we lost our exhibition game against the Carolina Predators. We lost our exhibition game, you know, because we, we were supposed to get our season tickets and everything honored. You should have won when it mattered. That's the first. That's the first thing. You had plenty of games this year. I get it. I get it. I I get it. You know, not supposed to lose a home game. And I get it. Now Carolina has not made the NAL championship for the first time. They have not made either the playoffs, the championship for the first time in their history, which is very, very funny, you know, for a team that draws like 3,000 fans in a 21,000-seat arena. Very, very funny. Very funny stuff. That's definitely two of the funniest things this weekend. But yeah, the big yeah that big surprise of Siegfried getting fired that kind of threw things off a little bit. I know the Colorado announcers. I ain't got to hear those guys anymore. I know there's a video by this week in Arena Ball that kind of highlights how bad the Colorado announcers were, and they even acknowledged <laughs> even acknowledged you know that video, which is very funny. That's the third thing that was funny from this week was that. So yeah. Corpus Christi and Columbus. Columbus, I know, you know, looks like the cream of the crop. They look like the team to beat yet again, but maybe Corpus Christi can give them some fight because I really, what I really want for the AAF championship is a fight. I want a fight. I want a good, I want a good game. I want a good game from those two teams. We can crown our second, you know, champion of the season. And then, you know, the NAL championship. It's very simple. Will Omaha's unbeaten streak of over 700 days continue? Nearly two years. If, if, if this push comes to shove, it will be two years. So we will see how everything goes, you know, and I will see you all next Sunday night. 
right? I think it's next Sunday. Don't quote me on that. I think it's next Sunday. We got a Thursday night game. We got a Friday night championship game. We got Saturday football all day long. And then I think we got one game on Sunday. So you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good next week. I'm telling you, just beautiful stuff. And we're getting down to the wire where it's just gonna be just the IFL. You know, the AFL will wrap up. You know, in July. And then we'll get down to just the IFL and the Arena League. You know, that's going to be crazy, you know. And then the AL2 will wrap up, and we'll see where Wheeling goes. Wheeling is – we all knew that Wheeling was going to leave. I don't understand. Why are people trying to tell, you know, me that, that I already knew this? I already knew that Wheeling was going to go somewhere. Why are people trying to tell me this? I already knew that Wheeling was going to leave. Like, like, like did y'all not see me interview one of the owners? <laughs> like, come on. And then, you know, another thing is, is that I will try to see what kind of interview I can get. It'll probably be like later in the month. I don't know what's going to happen there. But yeah, Big Boy Sports is signing out. And I will see you all throughout the week. Definitely putting up some polls throughout the week. Oh, boy. I uh, already got one for the AAF Championship. Next one up is going to be the AAF Championship. So um, y'all stick around, make sure you come back, subscribe, like, comment, share, do whatever you need to do. Um, get crazy with your conspiracy theories down in the comments because I know y'all got them, like the AIF NAL merger. One league has nets, the other does not. Like, I don't even know what I was, was, was I even thinking? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>